What's up guys, Attila Boy here. Today we're doing another video. Right. Today we're taking a look at the Zombie Tools Silius. Let's begin. And now we could definitely all know for probably for our last installment of the of the Dark Winter is the Silius. Probably with the small piece from well, if you say smallest one or most easiest one or cheapest one you can get, I think the Mauler and the Ace will be it, but this one's another one. Now, I actually was surprised that it was going to be pretty big out there for it. So, let's talk about the ki the sheath out there. The Kydax sheath is, uh, well, it's a Kydax sheath. Now, I forgot to mention from the rest of them out there, you can actually get them in a leather sheath out there. So, yeah... I may do want to get like a leather sheath for it, but I decided to go for, you know, that I can customize it with paracord wrapping and stuff like that. That I can like, you know, if I wanted to put it on my vest or anything, that could, that could possibly be great for it. And of course the blade itself, of course it's the, basically the 5160 spring steel. You can actually get uh, other coatings out there. Between of silver, copper, um, some of them will have selected of, you know, artisan engravements, and of course splatter like the, you know, like the original zombie tools. Of course the, the scales is T7 scales, the leather wrapping, as usual, and of course, as I mentioned in my felon out there, which, let me bring that guy, let me bring that guy out, right here. This also has a finger toil on there. So you can handle like, handle like that, or you can handle like this. Now, the name of the Celius out there is based on, or named after, of a guy that, uh, of a Greek that was basically held as prisoner in a, in a Persian ship. Took the knife, decided to have actually have like the primitive ways to actually escape the ship out there in using you know, like, Navy SEAL-style tactics. And you know what? Of all the things I want to see, of all the movies I want to see, I want that being made. The a guy named Silius out there just escaping the ship out there. That actually could be a great action film. And I hope they got the accuracy on history right out there than, uh, you know, than what nowadays are. And, uh, no, I didn't see the uh, Napoleon movie. I heard that it's a okay out there. Let's hope there'll be a four-hour cut out there. And uh, just like the all the other zombie tools out there, it is all full tang, which you can see from here. Which uh, I forgot to mention in my felon out there, which that is full tang. And funny part about it, since this is a considered to be a fighting knife out there, I actually have a similar style with a similar fighting knife out there. My rather more expensive piece out there, the Fear Gall Blades Ator out there. Well, tuned uh, tuned in. Stay tuned for for that specific review, and uh, it's pretty mind blowing out there. Oh, I forgot to mention about the felon out there, which was pretty funny about this, is when I placed my order on this guy, the Silius, and the felon out there, I didn't know that it actually would take like a week. And I made a joke out there, you know, like the Halion and the Kraken was gotten like three weeks appeared. Like it actually, when I ordered it, it actually took like three weeks out there. It was pretty quick out there thought it would took like five weeks i was actually thought they would actually these two would like take like five weeks out there but the funny part about it out here is it actually and i made a joke out here saying like oh if i maybe get like something like this it would take like maybe a week out there well it took a week i, I made a joke it i thought it was a joke out there but it did you know similar to a uh, I would make a joke about a specific person, a similar Chan on there, but 
you know, it really happened. I guess my, my jokes can predict the future of all things. So, let's go do the, just like the Fallon, let's go do the size comparison. The size comparison of the Silius. Now, you got the, the normal Silius. You got the, probably a more expensive piece, the Fear Gold Blaze Aether. The Gerber Ver Vice Versifix. K-Bar Zomstro. Roko K1061. This one is, yep. 119 Special. The Prodigy 2 from Gerber. And the Sog Pup. Which, yeah, compared to the other... Even compared to the other fighting knives out there, the fighting knives on the normal fighting knives would be very smaller compared to the Celius out there. So that is actually a rather comparison size to the Celius. Let's get on to the size length itself. Now, size of the knife. Now, the blade length is going to be around about like 9 inches. Meanwhile, for the scale, the whole scale out there, oh, that's really helpful out there. No, no joke. It's, it was pretty helpful. The scale was around about of seven and a half inches, or almost eight. Meanwhile, for the handle would be around about five inches. Meanwhile, for the finger choil on the size would be around about six six and a quarter meanwhile the overall size size of the Cilius would be around about 15 inches so let's test this bad boy out So the results on the Cilius is uh, pretty deep out there, actually. For this one, is actually just went, like, center to it. Meanwhile, for 
similar to like a plastic bottle. Yeah, that really like pretty deep over it. Pretty deep cut out there. Meanwhile, for the other one, the these two out there. Now that one's that's a deep cut out there too. You know, for the now I think uh, when I chopped it out there, it was like a little piece of plastic that was like hanging by a thread out there. I mean, like that was th that's actually like still pretty deep over it. Now. I could definitely tell you from the cilius out there. But I could compare it between these two pieces, and I say, like, it's not a terrible reason out there, or a terrible, I, a bad thing out there. Now, compared to this out there, it actually could be very much on side with the, the Feargall Blades 8 or out there, 8 or out there. You know, a really good one out there. Also, it is a little cheaper, like, compared to this guy because the price was a little expensive but you know do do a mind out there that it's actually pretty much made by basically handmade out there which is a pretty good thing out there like the uh, cilius out there like it actually could be a great combo out there for them too i think if i had like the baby shark out there i could do a comparison between that and between of this one here, by the same, you know, the same deal like the Fallon out there, which a really good one too. Now it is a little bigger or a little smaller than the Fallon out there. But if I had something like, you know, like the Tainto, which that actually is pretty a shame of me and not buying it out there, which is, I could probably do a comparison between them two, but... I don't know which version out there, the new one with the Suba or the one without the Suba, the first gen. I'm going to give the Cilius a pretty good, um, it's a good fighting knife out there. And actually a decent price out there. It may look expensive, but it is pretty reasonable. I give the Cilius a 10 out of 10, a pretty good fighting knife out there. And... It is based on a pretty obscure, well, actually, no, not obscure, but a more of a Persian fighting knife out there. I don't know which version, but it is a Persian fighting knife out there. So, that wraps up with the Cilius. I'm Martel Boy, and I'm signing out. I'll see you mortals next time.